ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 20th day of March. Hey, this is the Vernal Equinox here. First official day of spring. How about that? Weather looks fine today. Let's go look at some of the Skycam shots early this morning. Downtown Jasper. In Walker County, looking good. That's the view there from the top of the King Building. From Tuscaloosa, we're looking at Bryant-Denny Stadium on the campus of the University of Alabama. The sky clear. Temperatures are mostly in the 40s. And nice shot there coming from Trussville, Chalkville Mountain Road down below. Trough is over the east. That brought a cold front through here last night in dry fashion. I don't think there were more than five drops of rain statewide with that thing, as expected. And you can see the temperatures are a bit cooler this morning. Uh, nothing harshly cold for this time of the year, but temperatures are below freezing from about Cincinnati on north. And again, we've got uh, mostly 40s here across north Alabama. Uh, we'll be dry for the next five days. This is the expected rain uh, valid through Tuesday evening. Uh, heaviest action from Dallas-Fort Worth up to Des Moines. And we might see some severe weather issues in there. As you know, this is the time of the year for that. The convective outlook, uh, day four is Monday. And there's a risk from near Abilene, north to Omaha. And then day five, Tuesday, a slight risk for places like Shreveport, Little Rock, Tulsa. And uh, will there be a risk beyond that? There could be, but the model consistency is not good out there toward the end of next week. Uh, but we'll show you what the GFS looks like. This is the OZ run at noon today. Trough over the East Coast. Cool, dry air. Highs in the 60s today. Tomorrow, fantastic weather to start the weekend. Uh, we'll be close to 40 early in the morning. Maybe 30s for the colder valleys with a little scattered light frost, but highs will be well up in the 60s, upper 60s. Sunday, sunny with a high close to 70. And then Monday of next week, there's the big western trough. There's a bowling ball coming out of there. Intense surface low. Over eastern Colorado, very windy across the plains, strong south winds. Could be some severe weather problems there. Tuesday, the surface low fills, and it's near Omaha. But again, some risk of severe weather down in the warm sector around the Arklatex. And then Wednesday, the front comes on in here. Uh, the surface low is pretty far north, up near uh, Duluth, Minnesota. Uh, and again, uh, severe weather possibilities, I guess, would be there, but not overwhelming at this point, but certainly will highlight a good chance of rain and storms Wednesday. Now, Thursday, the model tries to push the front way down to the south. I don't know if it gets that far with the support lifting so far north. Most solutions with this, run, with this model have placed us in a situation where the rain continues at times on Thursday, and we will not vary from that. We'll wait on some future runs to see, but look what comes Friday. A big trough developing, the axis off to the west. Here comes the next system with rain and storms. So this is suggesting rain and storms Wednesday, a break on Thursday, raining again on Friday. That's March the 27th. And uh, look at Saturday, March 28th. Yeah, the cold air look. You know, it's been missing from a run every once in a while, but there's been very good consistency in the idea of a big cold snap out here. And look at the thickness values drop like a rock. Uh, this is Saturday the 28th. There's Sunday the 29th. Very cold. Even some hint of flurries over the Tennessee Valley. And at some point in there, uh, you just know we'll have a freeze uh, where temperatures get down in the 20s. So growers, be aware of that. We've been cautioning you it's too early to, you know, to plant anything because of this. Let's go out there at the end of the forecast on the 4th of April. Uh, short wave over the upper Midwest. And again, at that point, we look dry, but we all know that trying to figure out the weather 16 days in advance is almost impossible to do this time of the year. We're just looking for trends. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. Again, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.